Hi. Uh, a week or two ago, probably, maybe a little bit longer, uh, I did a review of a razor called a Nanji. N-A-N-G-A-I-E. It's a Chinese razor. I assume that uh, it is uh, a razor that's branded uh, many different brand names. It's probably made in a Chinese factory somewhere and a lot of different uh, brand names are put on the razor. So I don't know uh, how available the Nanji is uh, versus different other ones that are probably the same razor. Uh, you'd have to research it to find out, but I really think that uh, uh, the Nanjis probably are still quite available. But anyway, it was a $10 razor. Uh, I wanted it a PIF or PIF, whatever it is, you know, you want to call it. Uh, and uh, it's a cheaply made razor. Uh, like I said, it was a $10 razor. And I used it and I made remarks, you know, that uh, of the different things that I found that, you know, I didn't quite like about it and stuff like that. And I'm going to kind of go over that and and because I've used this razor, you know, in my rotation, it's in my regular rotation, and uh, I've gotten to know it a little bit better. The, the last review was like a, a first impression of it, and I have gotten to know this razor a little bit better, and I've, I've come to actually like the thing. Now, uh, this is the razor that I'm talking about. If you see, you see if I can find it. You can see if you look really close, it says Nanji right on the right here okay that's got whatever the Chinese characters there are that same engine and all it's a twist to open the mechanism when I got it uh, needed a little bit of lubrication I put uh, a little bit of baby oil down the chutes here and worked it back and forth until it began to work smoothly it's worked smoothly ever since uh, it was a little gritty when I first got it but uh, one of the things that uh, to be aware with of it is these uh, bay doors here are not quite as thick as say my Gillette but they hold a blade just fine uh, there are no problems with the blade slipping or moving or anything of that sort so for all intents and purposes functionally it works just fine uh, the other thing that I had remarked about the razor if you look at it is that the I don't know if you call it blade gap. I don't believe it is. But the blade exposure, the blade sits out from underneath the head on this side and on this side. And one side of this razor, more blade sticks out of it than on the other side. Right now, as I have uh, perused the shave forms and stuff like that, I've come to understand that that's something that happens even with more expensive razors it's just a possibility so what I do to offset that is I will put the blade in and I'll adjust it with my hands until it looks even on both sides and then I'll tighten the thing down and I'm ready to rock now when I first got this razor and I did the first review on it I thought well it's going to be kind of a mild razor because I was thinking this is a rebranded Wishi Come to find out, it is not. Uh, this is a fairly aggressive razor, and I have always preferred a milder razor in a DE. But this razor is giving me some of the closest, smoothest, double edge razor shaves that I have ever had in my life on a little $10 razor. So I thought that it was worth, a, a, you know, a, a second look at this razor. Uh, for ten dollars I think you'll be really hard-pressed to find a razor that will shave as close as this one does for that price so we're gonna use this we're gonna use uh, a superior platinum Astra blade in it it's a brand new blade matter of fact let me open up the bay doors here and I'm gonna open that brand new pack up right now. And this thing is, there we go. 
Astro Blade. Astro Superior. It will load up the razor and begin to close it up. And I'm going to look at my blade gap or whatever it's called, blade exposure, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to adjust it. You see, I'm holding it here until I can get it as close. To even as I can and I'm ready to rock on that now we're going to use Vanderhagen or Vanderhagen however you want to pronounce it deluxe shave soap this is kind of my everyday soap it's a great soap for two dollars and fifty cents I think it is I pay for it uh, I'm gonna I've already got a puck in a bowl here I'm gonna put some water on it and I'm going to use my Simply Beautiful Pure Badger Brush. Let me load that up with some water. And I'm going to pour this water off. And begin to make lather. One of the things about this soap that I like really well, okay, that's all the lathering I need all the pass on that puck we're gonna start with another bowl and begin to lather up this shaving cream or shaving soap and I'll take what little bit of soap foam or whatever you want to call that that's left in this bowl and add to it just because you know, I want to use it all. It, it, it will be faster and easier. And that's way enough lather for a shave that might not look like much but it is way way enough for three passes and that's all I'm worried about uh, I'm not here to give you big beautiful lather shots and all that jazz and say how superior this soap or that soap is I'm just here to do a shave review a razor and this is part of it so Wonderful lather, very effortless and easy to uh, whip up. Doesn't uh, it's not real picky about water ratios or anything like that. As long as you get some foam in that brush, it'll work, it'll whip right up into a decent lather. It's really hard to ask for a whole lot more from a two dollar and fifty cent puck of soap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what one guy on this YouTube thing here calls clearing the runways, I think. Which means I'm going to take the lather away from my sideburn so I can line this razor up with it real well. And I'm just going to, I always stretch my skin regardless of what razor I'm using. And I'm going to start my shave. And like I said... This is a fairly aggressive razor. Uh, much. A vast virus database has been updated. There's my antivirus. For some reason, every time I use this now, this video program that I have, you know, it wants to tell me my antivirus has been updated interrupt the shave and all that so
and no pressure whatsoever. On this razor, this razor is fairly light. It's got a decent weight to it, but it's nothing like the Gillette. Or my straight. No, it's not. But I don't know if you can hear it. But it, you can hear it. I can hear it. Actively cutting those whiskers. You know. And this, like I said, this razor, it really does give a nice smooth shave. The problem with that I found with it, the only problem that I found with it is one of lack of familiarity with an aggressive razor. So I tend to use a mild razor and though I use a straight razor a lot of the time for me anyway a straight razor people might find it counterintuitive when I say this but for me A straight razor, not a very aggressive razor. Uh, the deal with a straight for me is that it's sharp. And so when I pass it across my face, I'm using a very light to no pressure whatsoever at all. And the blade just glides across my skin and cuts my whiskers really nice and smooth. And there's no aggression at all. Matter of fact, I can... I could do four or five passes with a straight razor and not have hardly any kind of irritation or anything like that because of the fact, the virtue of the fact that it is a very, very sharp blade and I am not using any pressure whatsoever. And, and so with one of these, uh, this is, in my opinion, more aggressive than my straight razor is. And uh, so you want to use pretty much zero pressure with this. You don't need it. Astra is a sharp blade. It'll do the job just fine. So that's pass number one. Let's lather up for pass number two. Again, plenty of lather. Look at that. Not a problem. And I got plenty more where that came from. Uh, so. This is a, an across the grain pass. No pressure. Just let the blade do the cutting. And now I since I have paid particular attention to the blade exposure when I loaded the blade in this razor there's no difference in either side or as far as aggressiveness or the feel on my face and neck they are identical And to be quite honest, the more I use this razor, the more that I like it. I really think that uh, 
this razor has uh, kind of made me take a second look at aggressive razors. Uh, and I will probably purchase a nicer a Cadet or a Razor Rock or, or a Parker. Uh, a more aggressive. I think the Cadets and the Razor Rocks are probably more aggressive than the Parkers, but I'm sure Parker makes something equivalent uh, to them in aggressiveness. I'll have to do some research on the forums, but uh, I really think I'm I'm looking actually uh, thinking about looking for an open comb, something uh, fairly aggressive. Because with proper technique, this fairly aggressive razor is giving me really good results. And I think that uh, I think that I'm going to move to more aggressive DEs. Uh, at least give one that's of a little bit better build quality than this razor right here. Give one a try. So that's pass number three across the grain and. Way, way plenty of lather for what for a three pass shave. I got plenty left over, and you know, I just if you look at it here, can't find the camera. There's quite a bit of lather left. I could do. A couple more passes with the lather that's left in that bowl without any problem whatsoever and look at this lather it's nice and thick and creamy uh, it's cushiony it's got plenty of glide you know uh, Vanderhagen has thought of as a lower end type soap and a lot of guys that on the forums that are busy with the artists and soaps and stuff like that kind of poo poo the, the, the Vanderhagen stuff but I have I've read on the forums even some of the artists and soaps are difficult to lather finicky with water you know what I can throw whatever I want to whatever water ratio or you know I can be haphazard with this Vanderhagen soap and not really pay a whole lot of attention to what I'm doing and, and get a wonderful lather pretty much every time. And and it cost me two dollars and fifty cents a puck and a puck lasts at least a month. You know, uh, you can turn your nose up at it if you want to, uh, but uh, the results speak for themselves. It's a I love the soap and it'll always be in my rotation for as long as I can get it. So, against the grain.
Hable. Three pass shape. And if we examine this shape, if we look at the shape, I already know what I'm going to get. Because I have used this razor off and on for a couple weeks, a month, maybe. I'm not sure. But. My chin is as smooth as glass. I mean, this way, there's just a little hair there, not much, just a little resistance there. But I mean, this way, this way, just as smooth as glass. The sides of my face are wonderful either way you move them. The only, mm. That's even better than it was the last time. I can't. This is, see, these are my problem areas. This, right along this jawline here and on this side. And it's very rare to get a shave where there's no, where you can feel no whiskers or resistance of any kind when I do this. But now, this razor consistently, consistently gives me a very, very smooth, much smoother than the Gillette and at times smoother than the straight razor. Uh, it, this gives me a shave that is com comparable to my straight razor. Now I said um, in another video that I don't get much better shaves you know between a straight and a DE but in the last two or three weeks uh, that I've been shaving I've consistently began to notice that I guess my technique is improving with the straight that the straight is getting um, really 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 smooth shaves compared to my Gillette and now this Nanji is a comparable shave to the Gillette I mean, I'm sorry, to the straight, it's just incredibly smooth. Uh, now, there's a slight bit more irritation with this razor as compared to the straight or the Gillette. But I'm willing to chalk that up to uh, still learning to use the thing. Uh, it's not a razor that I would recommend for a beginner for the simple reason that it is fairly aggressive. And if you use pressure with this razor you will have hamburger for for a face and that's a fact but if you use this with good technique light to no pressure and the proper angle it gives an incredibly smooth and comfortable shave now what i normally do is i take me some cold water and i normally i fill my sink with cold water but now i'm just going to run this cloth under the cold water. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this cool towel here for just a few seconds, not long. Just long enough to kind of cool my face down and make me, you know, make my Cool down any irritation or anything like that that may have been caused during the shave. And like I said, that I got a little bit more irritation than I would with the Gillette. You know, uh, but it's not bad. You know, and I could live with it uh, because I know that the shaves will get better the more that I use that razor. And so I'm going to use a bit of Aqua Valve Ice Blue has a bit of menthol kick in it 
and it cools the face and soothes the face. I am not using any balm. There is there are times that I have noticed that if I use a balm overly much, I tend to start getting little red bumps on my face. And if I back off of the balm and just use a straight alcohol aftershave, they go away. Uh, so I've begun to I'll use a balm every now and then, but it's not a regular part of my routine uh, because I think that my skin is reacting to balms, whether it's the Men's Plus Dove, the Aloe Vera, the Swiss Army Balm that I use, or anything else that I've tried, uh, and that menthol's kicking in. I love that. The Aqua Vella Ice Blue is, is wonderful for that. Just a wonderful feeling. Uh, wonderful, soothing uh, feeling. But I found that the balms, they don't really agree with me all the time, so I don't use them as much as I used to. This is a learning thing. I've only been wet shaving again for two or three months since uh, March. So a couple months, you know. And uh, it's going to take me a while to get into a routine that I like. And that works well for me all the time. So you'll see that progression as I continue to share videos with you. But, you know, if you're interested in trying out an aggressive razor, if you're, if like me, you've been using a mild DE and you uh, would like to try something more aggressive, I'd recommend this razor. It's cheap. It's an easy way to see if you like the results and the feel of a little bit more aggressive razor. Uh, and for 10 bucks, like I said, you can't beat this with a stick. Uh, and it'll continue to be in my rotation because it gives me wonderful shaves. Uh, consider the Nanji the next time you see it. For 10 bucks, you, it's really hard to go wrong. All right. God bless you and have a good day.